Hi, I'm Deb Palm, and I'm really excited to be here today with Sean. We're at the Cliff Dwellings in Manitou Springs, which I don't even think I knew existed. Right, a lot of people in the area don't realize that they're here. They tend to drive right on by, but we've been here open to the public since 1907. Oh my goodness. So these dwellings, um, they actually are from a place called McElmo's Canyon down in the Four Corner area. Okay. The Cliff Dwelling Ruin Company moved them up here. It took about a three year project, about 1903 to 1906. The Ruin Company, when they decided to find a place, they wanted to find something that would be, you know, almost representative of where they came. They and this was their best location that they found. This sounds great. I see a ramp that's gone up, so there's part of, uh, of the way that you can get up there, I assume? Definitely. We have the ramp that goes up in front. Depending on the mobility, there is one stair. You can get all the way up once you get past that one stair. Okay. Going through the actual dwellings is a little difficult. Um, you know, walkers you can get through with um, canes, right. things of that nature. But in a scooter, in a wheelchair, it is a little more difficult. These guys didn't have that stuff back exactly. then. So in order to exactly. keep it the way it was, we can't really add a lot of ramps throughout there. Well, we'll go check it out then. Sounds Let's great. Let's go see what it looks All like. Right, All right, that sounds wonderful. So this is the first step. So I'm going to find get up this, and we just have to go up and walk up. Yep. Take my key just in case. It seems like people think they're fun once they right, start riding. Right, start riding. Yeah, we'll send them down your hill. <laughs> anyway, okay. So how many, what all are these? So these dwellings, um, more than likely over 200 people used to live in this type of dwelling setting here. Oh each goodness. little house, about eight to 10 people would live in each one. So these are, you know, as you start going through, you can see from the outside, you'll be able to see the structure of the dwellings. When you get inside, you really realize how small these rooms are, how close knit these people were. I mean, today like their family. houses were as big as some of these kids' single bedrooms. And what was the Indian tribe that Oh, these were the Anasazi people. Okay. The Anasazis. Now, they are more down in the Four Corner area. Right. More in this area, you'd have the Cheyenne and the Ute Indians. But down in the, the Anasazi, they were considered the ancient ones from a long time ago, or the okay. Puebloan people. These guys, and they were only about four to five feet tall, so they were smaller people. That's that why is they could also fit why in these everything rooms. is so much smaller. Yeah. So you'll notice some of these walkways are real narrow. Yeah, that so is they part of. They also weren't really um, heavy people. No, they didn't live Shorts. with us. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have a lot of. Um, sugar glucose or whatever they're complaining about these days. That's right. So this is just one of the rooms. Once you've kind of gone through on the whole path, we end up in this room here. Watch where I'm at, yeah. So. Okay. We have a ramp behind us here that we go down to the museum. We usually have a couple people help just guide down there, right yeah. down to our museum. Yes. We're gonna be right here to kind of help guide you if that's okay. Okay, if you, right. that'd be great. You Definitely. can do that, so just be prepared. Yep. Now, if I decide to go a little faster, can you run? You know, we've had guys, <laughs> we've, we've had guys test us before. <laughs> Yep. And you know, and we always ask people if they are going to go down to just ask us for a hand. We're not saying that people aren't capable of doing anything right. themselves. It's just more for everyone's safety here. Well, and the truth is, you don't know how steep it is until you start down. And you know, scooters are the best because you do have the battery that slows you down. You do. It's and not it, just and for you. And it can't go too fast. Exactly. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. Well, unless, unless, I, unless I push it really hard. And we have people do that. They yeah. try to race us down. That's made out of feathers. Yes, this is the turkey feather cloak. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that's pretty amazing there. What would this be used for? This would have been more of a ceremonial cloak probably. You know, I'm it's not 100% so, yeah, sure. So. But it would have been worn by a village um, head woman for ceremonial occasions. So depending on what ceremony they were having, you know, what they would dress up in, I'm sure. Interesting. The museum. This is one of our newer rooms. We still are partially working on things here. Um, this is more some of the, you know, old drums, some of the old pictures that we have, our old postcards and things of that nature. Uh, some of our old stuff that they actually used to sell from the Cliff Tollings, you know, museum a long time ago. Little plates, little, you know. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that those have become antiques in their own, right? Right. Definitely <laughs> get to see some of the antiques as well. That's amazing. Yeah. This is, this is the one, I mean, we are actually in the rock right now. We have, I mean, you'll see lots of pottery. You'll see the, the skulls over there. I mean, there's a lot of things to really look at. That's part of them? This is all part of it. Now, those are molds of the real skulls. Um, so those are the molds. They show the teeth from the corn. They show how they used to deal with their headaches and get rid of them. So there's different things you can learn. And I see a spine there. Yep. Is there something that they could do for their spine? Probably not a lot that they could do. <laughs> I was gonna um, say. It more shows how they end up fusing together. They had lots of problems. I mean, these guys only lived to be 30 to 35 years of age. Oh and a lot goodness. of it was from the corn. When they would grind the corn, chips of rock would break out. It would grind their teeth away, chip their teeth away. So they when they right. had headaches, they believed that there was an evil spirit in their head, so they'd poke a small hole. And this is just what we've learned over the years here, and Ooh. we try to release the spirit. So these are things you can pick up here, you know, at the cliff dwellings and kind of learn a little bit from. All right, and the gift shop. Right, and then we have the gift shop here. Oh my which is a museum in itself. Okay, yeah, it is. 
We have some wonderful stuff here. I mean, I've worked here for quite a while, and you find some phenomenal things in our gift shop. So where do most of these things come from? All over. We have stuff that is native-made. We have stuff that, you know, we get from local. Some of it, of course, is from China, Japan, right. you know, different right. places. Because but, it's... yeah, it's, it all varies. It all depends on what you're looking for. Inside our building, we do have a service elevator. If anyone wants to go from level to level, we can okay. use the service elevator and help out. Perfect. So yeah, and then if you come to the back deck, you have a great view of Pikes Peak up there. Oh my word, you do. So it's not, you know, it's That's a really good place. just gorgeous. It is. I see why you live here. I know. And I, I see why you work here. I, I actually quit for a little while, went and did a corporate job for a while, and I came back and I needed my office back, so I was yeah, here. Yeah, and I was going to say, and you realized that this is where you really oh, wanted to be. it's beautiful here. It really is. It is. It's gorgeous. And, and what a day. You can't pass it up. Exactly. Oh, and look at every view. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And a lot of times we don't charge. If someone says, hey, I'm in a wheelchair or a scooter, we won't charge for them to come in come because on. of the limited access. You know we want them to it. enjoy as much as they can. It's not fair for us to fully charge them when they're just doing some of their limited access. Right, that's really nice. So that's yeah, really great. Right. It's, a, it's good for them to get out here and do it themselves and, and come it. experience it, absolutely. So many things accessible. Yeah, and it's almost like, what do you choose? How far can you go? You gotta push yeah. your limits a little bit. And, and the truth is, that's the key. I'm grateful for your help. Thank oh, you so much. Um, you too, Rob. I appreciate you making sure that I didn't like freewheel it down the hill. <laughs> well, hopefully we answered any questions. You know, we really would like to see people come up and enjoy themselves while they're at the yeah. cliff dwellings. Realize that you can do this. You can come Definitely. up here. If you have a wheelchair, though, I guarantee you, get somebody to help you. You can't do that up and down by yourself. I don't care who you are. But this oh, is just great, and I think people need to come and see it. And I promise you, I'm going to bring my husband, and we're going to come back to Colorado bring your kids Springs. Too. Yeah, kids my, love it here. We'll do that.